Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Moon Quest. Uh, last episode, I was showing you guys um, a few things, I guess. Can't really remember exactly what it was. Uh, I know we went to that other dimension, got some of the uh, apple trees, which are doing quite nicely, I may add. Oh yeah, look at that. I still don't know what the hell that is, because you can't take them. You break it, it doesn't do anything, so I don't know. Um, and I was able to finish this. Um, we blasted that open, which looks pretty cool. I made a little bridge that goes across. I smelted a bunch of freaking cobble into stone and made some stone slabs. Um, all I have to do is light that now. Um, where did I put... Where did I put the flint and steel? Or maybe I need to make one? Maybe... Okay, no clue. Um, I have a ton of crap on me still. Uh, let's get rid of those apples. Um, I don't know where else to put everything, so... Screw it. It can go in there. Actually, no, I need more torches, though, too. Let's make some torches. Right. I'm gonna make a ton of torches, actually, and then just throw the overflow in here. Uh, right. 52. Yeah, a couple stacks in a bit. Uh, but, oh, shoot, not that. Sticks in there, too. Uh, I don't need the dirt on me. Oops. Why? See, I had to update again and just friggin' keeps screwing up. Every new update, it puts me into friggin' cheat mode. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Alright, I'm just gonna have to pause here, guys, and I shall return. Alright, and I'm back. Um, I had to wake up my little baby, so if you hear any little baby noises in the background, then that's why. Uh, he's, like, right next to me here. Um, this is the first time I've done this with him in the room, because uh, he tends to get kind of crazy. Uh, but, oh well. Alright, so let's make... Yeah. <laughs> there he goes already. Um, let's make a couple flint and steels just so that I have a spare one on me. Like this? No. I always get it backwards. Always. Alright. Now, is there anything I should take with me? Because I do want to go into the nether. I only have so many quartz, and quartz is what you use to... Um, add sharpness to your like um, axe or your sword but I don't have a sword yet so that's why I wanted to just go in there and get get some stuff um, I want to <laughs> it goes um, I'm gonna leave that axe there though leave that here I'm only gonna take this stuff with me I'll take that with me in case I get some more soul sand. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I wonder, I wonder if I'm gonna open up into the, uh, the same portal, because I did move it back a little bit. Remember how it was right on the edge before? It was right about, I guess it was about here. Now it's moved back eight blocks. The only thing I could really think of doing is maybe moving back one block more inside the nether, so. Oh well. Let's jump in there and see what's happening. Hopefully there's no damn gas. I hate those freaking bastards. Little yappy bastards. All oh, these stupid... Oh yeah. When you break them you get freaking hurt too. Alright, already there's some quartz up there, so let's get up there and I'll start chipping away. There we go. 
cool. I already hear them too, the friggin' gas. The gastards. Alright, so I got that. Let's get down. I don't think I really need any nether rack or soul sand or anything because I do have a bunch already. The main thing that I need from here is uh, nether quartz, so let's keep on digging this stuff out. Surprised my son is not making. Whoa! Oh yeah, I forgot to open up into that. The uh, spine things are there. What I was saying was, I'm really surprised my son's not making too much noise because he's always looking for attention. Because he's only like, he's only just turned one in January, so <laughs> um, obviously kids will be kids, and kids like attention. I wonder if I can dig this up with this. Oh yeah, finally cobalt. You can get cobalt. Oh. <laughs> You're coughing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I got... I didn't even intend on getting any of this either. Uh, cobalt or anything. But, uh, I guess that works. Um, I did want to find a fortress, though, because that would be cool. They have a ton of extra loot in them now that, uh, it's on this mod pack. Um, I have the waypoint already set here. So, that's really cool, too, because it did open up into the same one. It did make a double one. So, that's awesome. Um, it's too bad I couldn't use water in here. And turn the lava. Um, I've, I just have no idea which way to go to be able to get to a fortress or anything because, like, I can't really see that well in the nether. Maybe it's. I'm gonna check my view settings, video settings. Render distance normal plus 32. Let's try far. That help. Looks like I got rid of some of the fog. Just it's taking forever to load now. Anytime. Come on. Shamo. Shamo. <laughs> what, baby? You are crazy, baby. Okay, so I don't see any nether fortress. It did clear up some of the area quite a bit. Um, actually, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to get my TNT, and I'm going to blow the shit out of this place. Maybe make a tunnel through the, through a wall or something, hopefully find something. Actually, no, I'm going to, I'll go up there first, because this looks like another way out. I, I can't remember where I've gone and where I haven't gone in this place. No, I don't see, oh, there's that freaking big basketball thingy. Not basketball, but what was it again? Like a beehive or something? I can't remember. Oh, crap. I forgot the amount of XP that you get with this stuff, too. It's crazy. Crazy. Well, I thought they were after me for a sec. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't even touches. Um. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too thrilled with being in the Nether. I hate this place. It's too much lava. Too many possibilities of falling into the lava off a cliff like this. Holy crap. Um, and I don't see a fortress anywhere, so... Maybe I should, I should explore a bit more. First I'll go back and then drop off some of this stuff. But um, I'll do it off camera because you guys don't want to friggin' watch me like travel for like an hour looking for stuff. But if you do, let me know next time and I will definitely 
post all the footage, maybe speed it up a bit so it doesn't get so boring, but alright, let's go drop this stuff off and I shall return. Oh, I left some quartz, damn it. Alright, I'm back in the nether. I made myself a nice alamite broadsword and upgraded it and stuff, which, uh, I put, like, sharpness, uh, luck, and I, yeah, auto repair on it. And now... I'm just going to keep collecting this quartz on the way because I have no idea where the hell a fortress would be. But I want to get to one because I hear that you can use blaze rods. Obviously I, I want to do potions too, so they help with making potions, like the potion stand and like blaze powder and stuff for um, fire resistance potions and all that junk. Uh, <laughs> there's the baby again. Um, Get as much uh, nether rack as, or not nether rack, nether wart as possible too. What the hell is this stuff, anyways? Kind of, what is this? I got it. Hell bark wood. That's friggin' weird. Nothing. Can I dig that? No. Nope, can't dig it. And... Oh, what? What? Burning blossom. So if you break it, you catch fire? I didn't know that. If you touch it, you catch fire. If you break it, you t catch fire. Well, when in Rome... Oh my god. That is so weird. I'm not used to that at all. Um, now, looking around, I still don't see anything, really. I wonder if you can use the spines up there as bone meal. That'd be cool. Just collect a bunch of spines and freaking take them back and do my gardening. And grow the trees and stuff. Uh, which way... I'm just like going around a friggin' circle here. What, baby? You're a loud baby. You are. Um, I, I don't know which way to go. I guess I could go this way. Because, you know, the ground being level to a, to a point. Oh shit, I keep catching myself on fire with that stuff. Um, I don't think that's... I can't, is that another rack? No, that's... Oh, that's that wither wart. You get withered every time you friggin' break that stuff. It sucks. Stop withering me! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep getting another rack, or another wart. this? Glow shroom. That is cool. Alright, I'm going to pause it here, guys, because my baby's getting really talkative, and I'm just going to travel my way through and see if I can find a fortress. If not, hopefully I can. I'll keep going until I do, because I need to be able to... I want to check out some of the loot and stuff, and obviously blaze rods and stuff are really handy, so... I shall return. Holy crap, wow, I hate friggin' soul sand. Oh, let's get out of this. It's still weird how this flesh does this. <laughs> it jumps up. Oh man, it's so weird. Um, yeah, I'm 340 blocks away, still no fortress. I don't understand where the hell one could be. Like... I don't see anything anywhere. Oh, whatever. Let's keep going. I can't. Little. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Right on the other side of the hill, and there's a friggin' fortress. Man, is that the. Oh, this is the one I went to a while ago. I haven't been here in a long time. That's why it's like that. What the, what the fuck is that? Is that. Is there a phantom around somewhere? Phantom? 
Oh man, this sending chills up my friggin' spine. What the hell? What the hell is that? Whoa! Where are you? Dude! I'm out of here. What the hell? I don't understand. I didn't even see what the hell was hitting me. Dude, what the hell was hitting me? That's not fair. It can't be completely invisible. Let's just start swinging around. Uh, hello? Oh my god. I don't know where you are, you son of a bitch. This is bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit, baby. It's gotta be the texture pack. It's gonna keep friggin' getting me until I friggin' outrun him. Let's get the hell out of here. That's crap. Friggin' phantom fucking killing me and I can't do anything about it. Complete nonsense. That's crap. Oh, and there's a gas firing up my ass. Oh crap. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, he missed. Good. Thank you. Thank you for having such crappy aim. <laughs> I didn't realize this is the one I was already at. And I already got all the crap out of the chest, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, I did, baby. Didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, this is kind of a waste. Um, maybe I'm gonna look for another, another fortress, and hopefully that doesn't take too long. And hopefully I don't get friggin' owned by a phantom or whatever the hell that thing was because that's crap. Normally you can see like a like a smoky mist in the air when they try to attack you. This time, nothing. I was swinging, nothing. <laughs> I wasn't getting anything. I wasn't getting anywhere with anything. So, um, actually, I wonder if there, there's a spawner up here. A blaze spawner. No, I, I broke this one a while ago. Well, so much for that idea for this spot. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to look a bit further away. I'm going to keep heading farther away from home portal. And uh, hopefully I find something soon but uh yeah i will return once again well i've made it this far uh, i've gone past a couple more fortresses or maybe it's part of the same one but um <clears throat> it looks like i've been there before <clears throat> sorry about that <clears throat> yeah it's up here hmm. Hmm. but I think I've been to this one too, but there's uh, blaze spotters that I left there, and I want to be able to destroy them to get a crystallized essence, which you use for. What the hell, this stuff isn't dropping. Oh, it is dropping. Um, you use it for. Oh, what the hell, do you use it for again? It's like the soul cages, but for some reason I can't figure out how to get them to work quite yet. I know how to make all the components, but. Um, when I put this soul binding shard in, it doesn't work right yet. Hi. Hi. It's like the Matrix. If anyone remembers what the Matrix is. Fine, here, shoot. What? Whatever, screw it. <clears throat> Ah, uh, not another one. Get the freak away from me, you bastards. Okay. Got it. Oh shit, there's still there's actually blazes around here somewhere. Uh oh. But I got one. Anyways, crystallized soul essence. 
and you use those to make like the the soul shards and um, the uh, the sword that you use to be able to get the soul into the soul shard, whatever um, mob you want, I guess, depending on which one you kill with it in your hand. So, <laughs> and that's my baby still talking up a storm. Um, but yeah, like you use that together and <laughs> talkie talkie. Yeah, boy. Say yeah, baby. <laughs> Little butthead. Oh, I didn't get into this one, I guess. Cool. But, yeah. Um, use the soul shard and the soul cage and the soul sword to be able to make your own personalized mob spawners, pretty much, that you can turn on and off at will, pretty much. You just need a lever. Um, but, for some reason, I couldn't get it working on single player, like in a like a test world. But maybe it's because I was on creative, I don't know. I even tried it when I was in, uh... Um... When I was in survival, too, so I'm not sure what is going on, or why it's not perfectly working. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that sword, with the gold sword. Um... I guess keep on... Oh, crap, I need to eat something. Oh, there's nothing over here. Oh, no. The castle's broken. The fortress. <laughs> Alright, he's getting kind of loud now, so... I'm gonna go spend some time with my boy. And then I shall be back later on when he's down for his nap. So, peace.